Hey everybody, Jason here from my Animate. Hopefully you're all doing fantastic this week. So in this week's snippet, we're going to talk about the proper way to do blocking. To me, blocking is probably one of the most important stages of animation because you're basically building a foundation for which all of the animation is going to live on, right? So what you're trying to do in blocking is, in as few poses as possible, convey your whole shot, right? So you're basically storyboarding with the CG character, right? So in this particular shot, uh, I had the idea, like the whole idea of the shot is a sneeze, right? So I had this idea to have our character Dennis here, who kind of looks a little bit like a dragon. So I thought I'd play around with a sneeze with fire. Uh, I thought that might be kind of fun, but I was always thinking like, what could be the most inopportune time to actually sneeze? And it's when you're doing something delicate, you know, or if you're in a quiet room or something like that. But for Dennis here, he's building a house of cards, which takes a long time, right? And a lot of patience. And just when he's about to put the last two cards on to make the top of the house, then he gets the itch for, for the sneeze, right? So let's go through our shot here and I'll tell you the best way for me to block out this shot. So, so this is, think of this as more like a 2D storyboard, right? So we're going to think about like, he's going to look at the cards and then he's going to look at the, the house of cards here, like to make sure like, okay, this is where they're going to go. And then he's going to reach to place them on top, right? Now in storyboard form, like I'm actually thinking about transitions here uh, where, where in blocking, I don't really need to do that, right? Because what I'm going to do is, think about the more extreme poses or the acting beats, right? So this is, a, is an actual pose that I'm gonna hit because it's probably the most extreme because he's just about to make contact with the house of cards when he gets us the itch, when he gets the itch for the sneeze, right? So then, you know, all this kind of inhale stuff and all that, I'm not going to worry about, I'm just going to worry about the most extreme pose, which is this one here, where he's the furthest back uh, before he settles out of it, right? So in the idea that I've got here, uh, he's going to go back, sneeze, and you think he's going to sneeze, and then he kind of relaxes, right? He, he the, the itch goes away, and then he's just going to wipe his nose, right? Because that's something that you'll probably do. So he's going to go, whoo, and then wipe his nose. Now, when I when I get to the, the blocking stage, I'm going to figure out, like, the actual character, like, what he looks like in these poses, because I'm thinking in general terms what the character looks like, but I'm not really worrying too much about keeping him on model. I'm just trying to think of the concept for the shot, right? So when I get to the actual shot, what I'm trying to do is I bring those drawings into Maya, and then I'm thinking very simply, how do I clean up these poses with the actual character and like how do i kind of make them better how do i push them so like in this first pose here like he's looking straight at the, the house of cards but i thought like it might be nice for him to have like a little bit of a head tilt you know so it's it's obvious that he uh, is proud of what he's doing how he really likes how the house of cards is going right and then to look at the cards now even at this stage what i'm thinking is opposing actions right so between these two poses i'm not thinking that he's uh he's raising the cards and he's raising his head because that's everything going at the same direction at the same time what i'm thinking is opposing actions so i'm thinking of he's going to look down reverse his spine and raise the cards up. And this way we have this opposing action going like this, right? Which makes it much more organic than uh, everything going in the same direction at the same time. Even when I'm doing it, it almost looks like the robot, right? And then every time I transition to another key, I'm thinking of those opposing actions, right? So to this next one here, what's happening, right? He's looking up and he's dropping the cards, opposing action. Right now, there's no timing in here. All I'm trying to do is get the basic beats to read. Um, and like, so, so if I play this back like at 24 frames per second, is there too many acting beats or is there not enough acting beats? So I'm just trying to see in as few poses as possible what I can ca actually put into the shot, right? To make the, the character seem believable, to make it seem like he's actually thinking. Right. And then the next one is that most important pose, right? That extreme pose, like where he's just about to make contact with the house of cards, right? And getting a little concentration in there. Like in here, I'm actually going for a little asymmetry with the pose, you know, so one eyebrow up, one eyebrow down, you know, sort of like he's kind of like really kind of focusing there, right? And then I'm going for the most extreme part of the sneeze. Now, even here, what I'm trying to do is, 
uh, as he leans forward, I want this foot to go out. You know, so as he leans forward, his feet go out. As he leans back, his feet go in. So again, get that opposing action. Anytime I put an opposing action, it's always going to feel more organic and more interesting to look at. It's actually more appealing, right, than everything going in the same direction. So in here, in here, what I might do is actually drop this hand because it, it almost feels like, uh, like if I go to, uh, you know, silhouette wise, it almost looks like this arm is actually coming out of his mouth, right? Which doesn't quite work. So what I'll probably do is actually drop it down. So it's somewhere in this area right here, which might actually make it a lot more appealing and it will give us that opposing action, right? And then in here, the settle, right? So I'm not worried about the, the, the overshoot or the transitions. I'm just thinking about the actual poses themselves where the animation is gonna live around, right? And then this way, I know the setup, I know where the character is gonna go. And then when I go to shoot live action reference, I kind of know that the poses that I'm trying to go for, right? Because it's already kind of figured out composition wise, right? And then if I have to change something, then there's not a lot of poses to change, right? So I'm adding in here the little wipe of the nose. So keeping that fairly contained, right? So it's just gonna oop, wipe across, you know, get a little effect on the nose and then look back at the house of cards and then look back down at his card. So I wanna make this slightly different to the first time he looks down and then a nice broad inhale, which has to be broader than the, the last one, right? Because we wanna make sure that it sort of builds like, so, you know, so you get like some sort of a, a shock in here. Now in, in the actual 2D area right here, um, I felt like it wasn't quite broad enough. Like, so I felt like, and this might need some, some work in here. So this might be a lead and follow type thing where I come back and then the arms come up rather than everything going at the same time, right? So it might be like, you know, cause I feel like this might be more of a surprise, you know, rather than just kind of relaxed with his arms down, you know? So like for that last inhale, right? And then we get this at, Chew, right. So I want him to be up in the air here. Like, so I just rough this in very quickly, but what I probably do is actually take his whole body and sort of rotate it a little bit more down towards the cards so that he's blowing sort of like more at the middle of the cards rather than just at the top. Cause I do want to get this sort of angle sort of downwards this way, which would be kind of fun, you know? And then what I'll probably do is actually draw in the flames and, uh, and sort of like do like some, um, uh, you know, 2D sort of effects, like as if like he, he basically disintegrated the cards, right? So, and then I didn't do the landing, right? So I'm basically just doing like the the last pose that he's going to live on, right? So this will be just kind of him looking at the, the dissipated or disintegrated cards right here, right? And that's it. That's all I need to do. So it's enough poses to sell the actual shot. So at this stage, like what I would be doing is play blasting it in step mode. So I don't want to see any computer in betweens because uh, I want to see just what my actual work looks like. And then that's what I would show to the director. And then they're not surprised because I'm basically taking the storyboards that they've given me or the storyboards that I've created. Uh, so I would have shown them the 2D pass here just as a sort of a concept for the shot and then the CG version of that, right? And then take it that step further and then shoot some live action reference to see what kind of transitions I'll, I'll be doing. Cause I'm not sure if I'm gonna do one wipe or maybe like a couple of wipes or what's the, the timing of like the, the inhales, is it like sort of a, a, a sort of an arc that kind of goes inverse, you know, or is it more like, or is it more on the outside? So I want to shoot some reference for this to feel it out, to see what happens naturally. And then I can caricature it from there rather than just thinking I know what it looks like and just going ahead and straight ahead in the animation. So for me, this is the best way to build up a foundation for your shot because you're building like from solid poses you're thinking about the poses as if you're going to print out each one of these poses and put them on a wall and then ask somebody like what's the character feeling here or what's the character thinking and they may not know exactly but like if they get the right emotion then you probably know we're, we're in good shape you know uh, and then it's just a, ma a matter of like making those poses look nice uh, because all the animation is going to transition into those poses and live around those poses and then out of that pose